Hey guys, I'm gonna take you through the process of using this bonus software here. So you can set this thing up, get it up online, uh, use your, your um, lead gen builder right here, get it all up and running, okay? So just kind of bear with me. This video may be a little bit long, but um, you know we'll make it work. If you have any questions, I can help you out. All right, these software dashboards are really, really easy to set up, but they do take quite a few, <coughs> excuse me, quite a few steps, uh, but we'll go through those. The first thing I suggest is after you download your software, okay, put an original copy somewhere on your hard drive, somewhere that you have access to, okay? And then once you get those files, open them and put them in some type of sample or working folder. And that's what I've done here. I've put all my, fold, my files here in this folder. I'm gonna work off of this folder. So I'm gonna brand the software first. Now, you do have to take care of a few things. Now, okay, first of all, you open the brander folder and you see it's empty, right? What I do is <clears throat> this up one level button, just click on that and you should find your local SEO file. That's the file that we're branding, okay? So just make sure you click on the file that we're branding there. That's what the brander is looking for. It's looking for an application file. Click open and this is the branding tool. Now you will have had to have put your, your checklist, your SEO report. You need to put those already in like a, a on a server or in Dropbox. You see, I've already done that in Dropbox. Okay. I have this file and I have this report. So you have to, you have to edit those first. Now, uh, let's see if I have those raw files. Here's here's the product files here. So you have your checklist. Now you have to brand it. You should brand it as your own. This is private label rights material. So PLR means brand it with your info. Add stuff to it. Uh, take away stuff. I mean, don't just use this stuff as is. I mean, the content is great. But add your name. Add your, your business email. Add everything you can, links to your, your website, all that stuff. Do it on the PLR part, okay? Now, once you have your video uploaded to YouTube, you'll be able to grab the YouTube ID. Now, it's a string of characters, and we could do a simple search for, you know, what, what is a YouTube ID, if I could type. Okay, just do a search in Google and it tells you exactly what the YouTube ID is. Okay, it's after the equal sign in your video. So you go ahead and do that. Now let's go back to the brander. So we've, I put in the ID here. Now we need our download link for our checklist. Inside of Dropbox, I could just right click and copy the public link. And that's what I'm gonna put in here. That's, now this could be on your server. This could be a link from Amazon S3. It could be anywhere, as long as it's online, okay? Let me go ahead and put this in for the free report. This contact information page, let's just say I wanna take them just to my website. All right, so I'll go ahead and put that in there. I could change this right here. So you can, you can brand the title, but make sure these are the most important items right here. Now the registration setting, if we're gonna require a registration code, let's just say, we'll put that as our code. I'm gonna copy this just so I don't forget it here. All right, <clears throat> if this is our code. Now I suggest you put a better code. You put something really long. Actually, let me do that. Something like that, that looks a little bit more professional, like it's a real registration code. Again, I'm gonna copy it and put it on a notepad so I can remember it, all right? Now I need a place to send them so that they can put their email. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send them to an Aweber page that I created. 
Now, it depends on what you're using. You could use a service like, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> like JotForm. This, this just builds, see these little forms here? You can put registration code and then you can use this. This is free up to like 100 submissions or something like that. So, I mean, to get started, if you don't have an autoresponder, use this. If you have an autoresponder, then use the autoresponder. Okay, but you have to set that up and I can't really help you with how to set that up because they're all different, you know, get response and constant contact. There's a, you know, a bunch of them out there, but this is an Aweber form. Okay, that I created. So I want them to go there. So hopefully you're with me so far. Let me click done. All right, so I got everything. I'm going to brand it. Let me get rid of this. Branding is complete, cool. All right, so now I can get rid of my Dropbox. Here's my brander. I can actually get rid of my brander because once you use it once, it's done. You can't use it no longer. All right, the second part that I want to show you is WinRare, okay? Now this is a, a piece of software that's much like WinZip, but it does a few different functions okay so and it's perfect for what we need with this software I suggest you search go to this link right here it was interesting that right here 19 hours ago they put why WinRare's 40-day trial actually lasts forever so that's cool it's wondering because I downloaded a free download and I've never ever had to pay for it so download it uh, you can put this on your system and I've never ever had to pay for this and it so it's basically cool it says right here $29 by now I've never paid for it so just do the search for WinRare and welcome to download it. we get get out of this all right back to my software uh, let me close uh, no, no no let me go back here okay so once I have WinRare just follow these simple steps here okay I'm gonna highlight You've got WinRare installed already, I'm gonna assume. And you have these little book looking icons. It looks like little stacks of books, okay? I'm gonna click Add to Archive. I'm gonna cl uh, click on Create SFX Archive. I'm gonna click the Advanced tab. I'm gonna click SFX Options, okay? And now the path that I want to extract is going to be, uh, let's see, actually let's go to setup, sorry, let's go to setup and we're gonna run after extraction and that's local SEO. Okay, so let's type in local SEO right there. You don't have to put .exe or nothing, just put local at SEO. We're gonna go ahead and put that unpack to temporary folder and we're going to put hide all. All right. Uh, the advanced tab, we don't have anything going on. We do need an icon. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and load SFX icon from file. So let's hit browse. Now this is the icon that I've included. You can change it out if you like, but it has to be a .ico file. I'm going to go ahead and use this one. Hit open. Hit OK. Hit OK. And now I have a software here, an application file that says local SEO software sample. Now the reason why it's named that is because if you look up here, this is the name of my folder. So whatever the name of the folder where you have all your files, that's what's gonna it's gonna be named. But don't worry about that because we can rename it. Let's drag it out of this uh, folder here. We'll go ahead and rename this local SEO. All right, so now this icon right here, this icon now runs my file. This is, uh, runs my software. This is it. Let me double click on it. And I'll show you how this works. It's loading up here. There it goes. All right, so there's my software. Okay, you can see that it was run right off that file. So let me, if I have no code, 
that's how it's going to do it. So let me go ahead and delete all these files. I don't need those. I'm going to put this right back in that folder. Okay, so let's run the, fo the file and see how this works. Open this up. All right, so the user is not going to have a registration key, so they click don't have a key. Now they just got sent to the link, the Aweber link that I send up. Uh, send me my registration code, so they'll put their email in there, and then they'll go ahead and be given the registration code. I'll go ahead and put that key in there. Hit OK, and that unlocks my software. Okay, pretty cool. So let's watch the informational video. Now you can put any video in here. Remember, it's whatever YouTube ID you're going to put in there. So I've got the. Do you know one there. of the best? Cool. Checklist. Should load up. There it is. Provided by Search Lab Media. Put a little bit of branding on there. Free report. So they get access to everything, all right, if you do it right. And the free consultation, let's see what happens. It's going to open up my default browser and send them right to my website. All right, so there it is. So everything's working great. Okay, let's click exit. I've got my software. Now I'm going to put local SEO just like this. I'm going to zip it up. I like putting everything online in a little zip file. So now I got a zip file there. Okay, so what I need to do now is upload this to the internet. Now what I can do is I could put it in Dropbox or I could put it on my web hosting server. I can put it wherever I want to host this software because I'm, not, I'm going to need a download link. All right, so let me open up my Dropbox folder. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in there. I'll put it in my folder here. All right, if you don't have a server or anything, Dropbox has it, but you know, if you're, if you're selling services to online marketers or local businesses, you should have a hosting account. So let me copy the public link here. All right, put it on my notepad just for reference. <clears throat> okay, so now, now that I have my software done, I can go back to my bonus page. Now I need to set up my giveaway. Okay, this is my giveaway lead gen page. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna put my details in here. Uh, I would put my phone number, website URL. Let's just put put it in there just so you can see how it works. All right, put that in there. Download link for the software. Okay, so I'm gonna go grab that link and put it right in here. All right, hit next. Now the download link for the report. Okay, uh, for the report I have it in Dropbox. So if you're going to just give away the report. You know, wherever you have that, I've already uploaded it to Dropbox, right? I already showed you because I needed it, the download link for the software. So you put that link in there. And then the autoresponder form. Okay, well, um, if I'm giving away the free report just on a squeeze page by itself, then I would need an autoresponder. But I'm not even going to mess with that right now. I use it as an option. I'm not going to use that lead gen page. I'm going to use a software lead gen page. Okay, because I want them to register for the software and then give me their email that way. But if you did want to use just a free report and have them put an email address in, then you use this. So let me go ahead and I'll just put something in there. Then you have your footer links, your privacy policy. So you go ahead and put that in there. You put your other footer link. You could put whatever text and links that you want. You could have affiliate links if you wanted to. All right, put in your copyright year, you put create, and don't download your local SEO lead pages. Let's save that file. All right, so inside here, I've got the HTML for the software, HTML for the report. Let me go ahead and bring those out here. And let me show you what it looks like for the report. I mean for the software. Okay, so here's our free download. That right there looks like I have my download link all set up. 
everything's good okay that's all set up so if I log into my server so if I'm on davidcisneros.com and I'm logged into my server and I go ahead and I create let's just say um, I call this local SEO Oh, we already got one. Okay, let's call it something else. Let's call it local SEO squeeze. All right, so I want to put this file on my server. So I'm going to go ahead and just drop it right in there. Of course, you would need an FTP login, and I use Fire FTP, so you can use that. That's a free. Um, I think they call them plugins or something on Firefox, but let's see, we've got local SEO squeeze right here. Okay. So let's go ahead and put David Cisneros.com local SEO squeeze. All right. So there we go. Now I have this lead page right here residing on my website okay it's now connected to my website and if I click on free download there's my software I can download it and now it's on my server or now it's on my hard drive okay so that's how easy it is to get everything all set up I just showed you how to get everything set up from building your software, branding it, and then going ahead and um, building your lead gen page and getting that on your server. Everything is real quick and easy to do. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for purchasing. Uh, if you have any questions on this, um, go ahead and hit my support desk and I'll do what I can to get you uh, up to par. But these software dashboards are so easy to use as giveaways because people like software uh, has a higher perceived value than saying, Hey, give me your email and I'll give you a free report to some people. That's kind of, you know, cheesy and played out. So thanks again. I hope you uh, can put this to use and start driving some traffic to it and you'll start getting people to download your software and contacting you for free consultation. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care.